Live from Dunning Field on the campus of New Canaan High School, it is Varsity Field Hockey, an NCTV broadcast in conjunction with DAF Media. So glad you could be with us for this matchup between the New Canaan Rams and the Darien Blue Wave. Hi, everybody. I'm Damian Andrews. So glad you could be with us on a uh, beautiful Friday afternoon, October 18th. And joining me on the broadcast this afternoon is my friend Kari Johns and my new friend, Carrie Hills. And uh, ladies, this is what it's all about. Friday before a big weekend and a big heavyweight matchup between two really great programs in the New Canaan Rams and the Darianne Blue Wave. Yeah, it's just, we're not on. Yeah, we're live. Test, test one, two, testing one, two, we're live. There we are. It's an exciting match, we're really excited. I just, uh, had a nice conversation with um, assistant coach Megan Cunningham, who is a former um, player who used to coach and also played with my eldest daughter, Kyla Johns. Um, the JV team and, and freshman teams played yesterday against each other on a very blustery day, might I add. Um, and it looks beautiful out there, but it's actually very windy, so it's going to be interesting to see if the teams can hear each other. Um, both of these teams really excited to play each other. I just um, had a a talk with some of the New Canaan parents have coached a lot of these girls along the season. I'm just so excited to see all of these um, young ladies play each other. Um, some great players on both teams. Estelle Asker on New Canaan, um, goalkeeper Megan, looking forward for Annalyn Dace doing some great things. Um, Molly Mitchell, just a lot of great players on both teams. So really excited to see what's going to happen today. Uh, looks like Darian starting with the ball, so they have possession. You're going to be seeing Darian from moving from right to left in black uniforms. And, of course, New Canaan on their home field. I believe it's homecoming week for New Canaan as well, is Darian? Yeah, it sure is, and it's always a good time to go up against our biggest rivals, Darian. Yeah, we're delighted to have you guys here, and I'm sure it's going to be a tough match, and everybody looks like they're fit and ready to play hard. So here we go. We are underway. New Canaan in the home white uniforms with the red numbers. They'll be moving from left to right on your screen. Darianne in the black uniforms, white numbers in the blue socks. They'll be moving from right to left on your screen. No, I'm not quite sure, Carrie, how you guys celebrated homecoming, but we had, um, our these girls have been um, up since 5 in the morning with a homecoming breakfast. <laughs> so I dropped, I know I dropped Raina off at 5 in the morning for a homecoming breakfast early this morning. Um, so let's see how they do it today. Let's see how they do that. might work in our favor. Our, our breakfast is tomorrow. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, but it, it, it's, a, it's an early game of... Four o'clock in the afternoon. It's had some good light here. Um, Darian in their attacking in their attacking half. That ball going in. Good job. Uh, I can't. You're gonna have to help me carry because I'm so uh, not able to see the numbers. I'll see if I can recognize the running styles here, but not being able to see the numbers is gonna. So New Canaan having this ball coming out on their uh, left side. Yep, that's Kira Cooney. Kira Cooney, just Carrying a sophomore. Up. And a number of young players, I think, on both teams, right? Carrie, you have a few. Yeah, we have. Um, yeah, we have two freshmen, and uh, I think we have about seven sophomores in there. So we are delighted to, you know, um, have Mary Claire at the helm here, and she's grooming some players. We're thrilled that she's here for the first year. Um, done a great job with the team, and you know, a lot of young players in here who've been um, coming along. So Darian with her first attack penalty corner. Um, you have Captain um, Katie Duggan with the insert here. She's going to enter this ball right to the top of the circle to Molly Hellman, who's going to shift this ball over and unfortunately hits uh, Sarah Bogdan's foot. Yeah, that ball should be coming out. Um, so they're just going to shift this ball over to the spot of the foul, and New Canaan with a great opportunity here to clear this ball out. Unfortunately for Darian, you got to make sure that that ball does not hit any feet. Ball. That was a nice ball, Emily Knight with Ariel up to Anna Lindice, taking it up the left side of the field. Yeah. Okay. And uh, did a little push, uh, the umpire calling. So Raina Johns, freshman, sending that ball in nicely to Captain Molly Hellman, who does a nice job getting the ball through. It looks like that. Nice. That was Estelle to Polly, and then trying to move it up the right side of the field here, but Darian got it back. Yeah, it's a great block on um, yep. Brinsley Rush. Here's Raina Johns in the center of the field. She's going to send that ball in, nice, nice little sweep. And Emily Knight breaking that up really nicely in the center of the field. Yep. 
Nice little pull in. So it, seems, it seems like there's a few ob obstruction calls in there that, um, that uh, Molly's doing really nicely, but unfortunately she's not getting that call over there. Um, I think she needs to force that a little bit more, but nice ball down the sideline and nothing generated yet. So right now it seems like there's a little bit being played between the 25s. Um, Kind of a feeling out period right now in the yeah. early going here. Two uh, juggernauts, as we mentioned at the outset in this conference. Darianne coming in at 12 and 0. New Canaan 11 and 1. And as uh, Carrie skirt. mentioned uh, earlier, they have a new head coach in her first season. Well, Mary Claire Snedeker. Yeah, so I, I think, you know, my, my eldest daughter, Kyla, coached the JB team here last year. <laughs> and, then, and then her best friend, Megan Cunningham, um, when they were going through um, high school, um, who went to Wilton, uh, Darian with a missed opportunity there. The ball just crossing uh, across the mouth of the goal. You can't really miss those opportunities. I think it's going to come down to those little mistakes. Uh, nice job by Raina Johns to get that ball, and she's going to carry that ball immediately. Um, and nice stop nice. there. Um, so Megan <laughs> took over in this JV job and has done a great job. As I said, the teams played each other yesterday, so we had a good, a good um, time getting to know each other again, see each other again. Um, it was a nice hit up by uh, Emily Knight, stopped by Raina Johns, and now back with Anna Lindice pushing it up the right side of the field. Looks like I can't believe Anna's a senior, isn't she? No, junior. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, thank yeah, God. Yeah. I was going to say, don't I know, give we, me another we got year. Another year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's, Polly Parsons Hill's taking it up through. All right, so New Canaan with their. into the circle with a penetrating. Nice. All right, New Canaan with their first opportunity getting into their attacking, but broken up uh, nicely yeah. by nice Brinsley defense. Rush. And Polly coming. Is that Polly coming down on nice. her feet and still being able to play the ball up? Reverse uh, hit into the center. Looks like Molly Mitchell's all over it. Oh, nice clear by Darianne. Yeah, nice clear out to the left, and Brinsley Rush here is going to break this ball up and trying to clear it up, but still stopped here because she had it on the reverse side. Sending the ball in, but Tala Garcia, captain, breaking this up and trying to clear it out, and she does a great job. It hits a foot, and it should be coming out. Yep. And it's hard good to see Good intensity. I like this. It's yeah. good intensity here. These teams are fighting hard, as we know they always will when they're yeah. up against each other. This is the way it is in yeah. Darianne and New Canaan. Yeah. You wouldn't ex expect anything nope. less between these two programs. Of course, Darianne coached by longtime head coach Mo Minikis. And we mentioned Mary Claire Snedeker in her first season as the Rams head coach. Ball on the far side of the field here for Darianne as they look to push it up. Yeah, there's a good change of field. You saw the ball go all the way from the left side of the field to the right side of the field, but broke it up in the center nicely by um, New Canaan, but it does hit a foot, so it's going to be coming out again. Yeah, that was a nice transition to the right side of the field. So it looks like that might be Maddie Holt. We can see the numbers. I'm pretty sure that's a South, so sophomore, first on varsity player. Um, Charlotte Dim in there, senior in the center of the field. She has a great sweep. Tala Garcia, captain, uh, not first year varsity player, obviously senior captain. Sent up ball off the left sideline to nobody. Um, okay. And it's going to be a side in for New Canaan. Great lift. Nice, nice aerial by Caroline Brooks, right up to Anna Lindice, who takes it up, one handed left. Bring it down the side, probably gonna cross that ball. Nice. Great, Rachel, great transition. Rachel. That was a great ball uh, across. Nice defense though. Broken up it? by uh, Charlotte DeMintner. That was a clean stop, that was nice. Here's uh, Captain uh, Molly Hellman, and again broken up. You're gonna see right, these Kira players. Cooney intercepted, right back to Inalinda, sending it across. Trying to find the right side of the field. Yeah, you'll see these players kind of, uh, I think, a, a lot of back and forth, a lot of all over each other. As we had said when we were watching, I think, the Staples game, that um, a lot of, not a lot of uncontested play. So anytime someone's on the ball, you're going to see that ball, I think, probably should have. Oh. Yeah, yeah it was lift. I think it was. <laughs> oh, nice, nice ball down nice. low. Oh, so that was a close one right yeah, by the post. Yeah, that was a great ball down though, just missing wide on the left post. All right, good attack, good defense. All right, let's see what Darianne's coming out with the ball. I want to thank everybody for watching this uh, NCTV broadcast in, con in conjunction with DAF Media. A beautiful day here in New Canaan, Connecticut for some varsity field hockey between two heavyweights, Darianne and the Rams of New Canaan. Great job by both teams here. Again, not, no uncontested play. You're going to see every time this ball is touched, expect to have some, some um, 
some challenge here. Brinsley Rush dribbling the ball down. It's a great job sending that ball over. Now, you did see the ball hit a player, but the, it hit the player on the hand, and the hand is considered part of the sixes. Those of you watching at home, I know we get a lot of questions. Um, it's a great ball. Uh, unfortunately, no one up there to receive. So if it, if it hits a player on the hand, the hand is considered part of the stick, those of you watching at home. Um, so that is not considered a foul. It's a good decision by Charlotte to send that ball back, right? And Darian trying to attack down this right-hand side here. A nice aerial ball. Good to see so many high school players have that aerial. Yeah, it's a good skill to develop. So you see this wall, if you're looking at home, you see this nice wall of white here. So that ball, if she can clear that over that first wall, it's a nice little touch by Molly Captain Molly Hellman. She's nice. dribb dribbling through. Yep. Uh, you just see a little stick obstruction. She can take that ball straight away and pulling around. Nice oh. job. Nice stop by Rachel Gillian. Looking up there on the left side, hopefully get that pass up. Nice. Here's Raina. Oh, nice, Raina. It sends that ball down the right side, looking for an attack player to come back, but picked up really nicely. Good step up by New Canaan. Another step up. Nice ball. Transition ball. Here's Tala Garcia finding her teammate. She looks like uh, Brinsley Rush. Good, good step back by um, Katie Duggan. Now, once again, we see this ball inside the offensive 25 for Darian, so they're going to need to carry that ball um, five meters, which is about seven yards. Sorry if I'm cutting your sight line off. Nice pass, pa pass back. Good. Good little bit of deception there on Tala Garcia. Yep, she pulled that nice. defender back. Nice hit in by Brinsley Rush. Nice little touch there. And good job by uh, Sarah Bogdan. And look like it, look like it might be coming out. Nice area ball, but it's into the center of the field. Uh, no attacker there, so that ball was sent over to the right. Now, now attacking down the left hand side, here's comes in Canaan. Carolyn Barron. Yep. Good quick movement, Anna Lindice. Maybe that wasn't five. I think she's asking her to take oh. it to the spot of the foul again. She's very, you know, yep. particular where the ball is being taken. It's a great ball. There's a lot of space nice. right there in the center of the field. Yep. It's good, great hit. She's got a beautiful hit. Yeah. Now I nice in a reverse. Went back across the cage. Molly Mitchell sending it back over. Zoe Bennett. Some good defense. Yeah, and that good. ball. Oh, mm, nice. Yeah. yeah. Just lifted right, up into too a high. bit of traffic. Yeah. Yep, that should be coming out. Nice job to get that over to the right side here. Sarah Bogdan, okay. who's going to move with a little, little bit of speed. Asker going in for defense. Oh, nice, nice little, little lift over stick. Yeah. yeah. Nice lift. Back to Anna. Nice Pull job. left. Yes. Good. She got her teammate Rachel up there on the left. She'll probably carry up and then make a quick pass. There's a lot of back and great back and forth Good. here. Just really communicating well. I think both teams. It looks like they've obviously are you know pretty deep into their season, so they've had a lot of time to play each to play with, with each, each other, other and kind of know you know where each other are going to be. So this, it's a good time. I was time, just thinking think. that it's, yeah. a, it's a good good time to be matched up against yeah. each other. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're mostly healthy, I have to say. I, you guys. I, I think pretty much, yeah. There's one or two players who um, have some, have some uh, you know, little injury yep. here and there, but not too much. Pretty healthy, yeah. Yep. And both of us, we were just saying, have pretty, we have a pretty large rosters. Yep. Um, us with 27, I think you said with 30. 30, yep. Yeah. Yep, that's and nice. And again, with some young, some young players, mm -hmm. um, freshmen, sophomores. So it, it's good because you're going to see some growth in the next few years as well. So 16-yard hit coming up. Both teams generating some good opportunities in their offensive 25s. Uh, um, you know, I think w what's going to come down when you have teams matched up this strongly, um, what it's going to come down to is, you know, where the mistakes are made um, and who capitalizes on them. Yeah. Like, like the, these balls, you know, they really need to move quickly when you're doing that transfer of fields. Um, so, and like that kind of ball sending in. So that ball That's Shauna Ferrero. She's one of our freshmen as well. Nice. Just, uh, you know, really quick, fast feet. Back to Polly Parsons, also a freshman. So how many freshmen do you have on your team? Two freshmen right now, and they're both in. Nice. Oh. And sophomores? I think we have about seven. Wow. Yep. So a lot yep. of youth, yep. which is a great which is a great thing. Yep. And uh, do you have a large large graduating class this year? Uh, we do, yep. yep. Okay. 
Mittner. Charlotte de Mittner trying to transfer this ball over to the right side. It's a good move. And um, nice little break up there. So it's a good cutback by Molly Hellman to help out there in the center of the field. Nice ball over. If you get a little touch on that ball. There's Emily Knight. She's a, yeah. she's a wall back there for us. She's been doing a phenomenal job. And captain, I see on yep, her yep. leg. Yeah. Great and leader. Nice defensive effort there by Knight. Nice. Great job breaking that play up by Molly Hellman. Nice. Okay, and that was Estelle Asker, another senior captain. Still no score of this varsity field hockey matchup between Darianne and New Canaan. Ooh. Oops. That went up off the stick. Under 17 minutes left in the game. Or in the uh, first half, rather. Yeah, that ball was into not into space. So you just need to make sure any of those, as we've discussed, if you've been listening to any of the broadcasts, any of those um, aerial balls need to be into space. Um, so I'm not quite sure why that is white ball. It should. Not really sure. Um, yep, switching the fields, bringing it over here to the right. It's a great transition. And attacking down the right sideline, that should be white ball coming in on the sideline. So New Canaan with an opportunity inside their offensive, looks like 25 or 30, uh, attacking down the right sideline, which is a really good spot to be attacking from. It's a little bit more difficult to defend here on this left side for, New for Darian. Yeah, New Canaan's been working on that the last few games and yeah. trying to get the ball to the right. We've played historically a lot on the left side of the field, and yeah. I think they have more success when they're on the right. So it's nice to see that showing up in this game. All right, so Rachel Giglio to Shauna Ferraro. Maintaining control, going to try to pass it back into Estelle, Knight, er, Estelle Asker, sorry, who's up here on the right. Looks like it's going to Polly Parsons Hills. Receiving, pull right, dodge. Nice, bringing it down the right. Little aerial. Nice defense by Darianne. So we are approaching the midway point of this first half between Darianne and New Canaan. I want to thank everybody for watching. A joint broadcast by NCTV and DAF Media. I want to give a shout out here in a moment to our entire production great crew. Great job. Yeah, it's a great one touch sending that ball in. It's a little lift into the player. Mm. First corner for New Canaan here. This is the first corner of the game. Yeah. Uh, second first, first, second corner, corner, first for corner for, for New, New Canaan. Canaan. New Canaan. Mm -hmm. So an opportunity here for the Rams as we are now under 15 minutes left in the first half. No score. And always a great opportunity for the offense to score here because, as you know, they're up. They're up. Uh, generally, double offensive player. So this is a great opportunity for New Canaan. Uh, Looks like an mm. insert from Polly Parsons Hills. Yeah, wondering that's where it's going to go. Oh, yeah. we have a false start there, right? Uh, yeah. But really, the the in that's always a a tough for, yeah. tough for the tough um call. yeah that's a tough call. It's up to the umpire because she did fake kind of fake the motion, so they went. So it's up to the umpire's discretion who you want to send back. All right, that's um, out to Emily Knight here. And Looks a like nice a pass little across pass over. to Estelle. Yeah, uh, nice block for Darianne. And this is Natalie Natalie Lopez, I think. Good breaking that up and now okay. coming out. It's a foot coming out. Okay. You talked about uh, good offensive opportunity. This yes. both of these teams know all about offense. New Canaan has outscored its opponents this season, 55 to eight. Darianne, meanwhile, has outscored its opponents, 57 to four. So uh, offense in bunches from both of these teams. But we're seeing the defenses. A step up uh, this afternoon, as you would expect. Yeah, Megan, Megan's a great goalkeeper. I mean, she's always been feisty from the very beginning. I remember seeing her, I think, in sixth grade, starting out, and she's just uh, just a pleasure to watch in the in the in the goal cage. I mean, she's just um, comes alive back there. And then um, Darian, as you know, has two um, um, goalkeepers, both Monisha Kula and. Um, Catherine Vote, so two great goalkeepers as well. So um, defensively, strong unit. Uh, here's beautiful, attacking down. Beautiful plays. Yeah, nice, nice save. The, uh, and a goal. Like a and that's a goal. goal. Yeah, that's a great goal. It's a great job. Attack down the right-hand side, and then that ball just popped up and then went in. It was just a great goal. Polly Parsons-Hills, the freshman with the goal, and puts the Rams up one nothing here. We might have an opportunity to see this again. And we will take another look at this goal. Yeah, so here she comes down the yeah, and just lifts that up. And unfortunately, um, yeah, didn't it got just got batted backwards instead of forwards? That was a great goal. You see Catherine kind of giving herself a little bit, like she could at that nice save. But that was a great job. Nice little lift up. Yeah, great goal. 
Nice job by our production crew. Cortland Parrott, our director. Lucci Savini up top on camera. Austin Platt. Emily Lanoff. Ian Nicholas. Thomas Kiernan. And Michael DeMeglio. Here is Brinsley Rush on the left-hand side. And sending the ball inside. That hits a foot. And they're going to attack again. New Canaan right in the center of the field, sending that ball in. Charlotte Jiminer breaking that up. And with some speed. But nice speed job. Good Rachel. stick. Yep. yep. And Back with Anna Lindice. She does a really nice job getting low on those balls. Whenever it gets into a stalemate, she can stay pretty tough down there. There's a little speed coming down the right-hand side. Good job sending that ball down. And Darian trying to take this right away. Um, yeah. That, mm. it's keep, keeps playing. Yep. yep. It's okay. They held the whistle. It looked like it kept going in Darian's favor. But yeah. A nice reverse. Okay. This is Carolyn Barron on the left side. Okay. Darianne will reset here. There's nice a great aerial lift. downfield. Nice touch nice. by Molly Hillman. Sorry about that. All right, looks like a Darianne ball going in. So this is um, Lindsay Olsen. She's outside, so she's going to outside the 25, so she can take that ball right in. There's a great job by, uh, um, it looks like it could be, yeah, Mo senior Molly Hellman. There she is. Maybe that call was obstruction, I think, maybe. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it, it would have been an yeah, obstruction, I think, on. I've learned not to <laughs> not to question the calls at all yeah. because it's you never know we never know up here what it appears to be here it's definitely not like for the example that yeah this I, will stay with Darianne here Raina Johns inside the 30. It's a hit in she's looking for uh, some attack to come back and grab that ball here's Tala Garcia trying to step right, up Zoe and then, Bennett running onto it here. It's good and job by Darianne a little yeah oh, good job okay. little foot. Back to Darianne. Good pass back. It looks like they're going to try to switch the fields here. It looks like Carolyn Barron coming in for a steal. She's got Marley Smith right there going in for post. Might yeah. send it across, but nice defense by Darianne. And there's a good job by Tala Garcia, Captain. Um, that ball went out, and it's going to be New Canaan ball coming in on 25 hit, 25 yard line for a long hit coming in. Be Anna Lindice. She's going to send this ball good back. Composure. Nice. Pass by Carolyn Brooks up to Anna nice, Lindice. Nice breakup by Molly Hellman there. Daring an interception, that was pretty. Hellman on the far side of the field. This will stay with Darianne. Under 10 minutes remaining in the first half. That's a One great lifted ball. New Canaan. That's a great ball by uh, Lindsay Olson. Nice ball sending in there. Yeah, there's Molly Hellman again. Randy Johns picking oh, the ball Randy up in Johns. the center of the field. It's a great ball inside. Here's Evelyn Heidi, who sent in a nice great save. save by Megan. Yep. That was a quick shot. Darian got off, and Megan was there. Nice break up there on the sideline. Hits a foot, and it's going to be New Canaan ball coming down in. Great. There's a great self-start. You want to get these balls going down right away. Good job by Maddie Holt to pull this ball back. Nice composure there. Take your time. Yep. That was nice. Okay, Great good. ball sending in nice again. Touch. Yeah, it's good. Another well done. And another goal. That was fantastic. Yes, Zoe Bennett. Yeah. And Zoe Bennett scores the sophomore. So a freshman and sophomore getting things started for the Rams here. And New Canaan jumps out to a quick 2-0 lead. Yeah, and that was a good self. That, that all started from that ball yeah. on, the, on the side that just started straight away. And so head coach Mo, Mo Minikis will take a timeout for... Darian, it is two nothing, New Canaan, and we're going to take a look now. We mentioned uh, Mary Claire Snedeker in her first season as the Rams head coach. As we take another look at this goal by Bennett. Yeah, both players played the ball, unfortunately, instead of someone. Um... Here it is again. Yeah. Gets okay. free right side, moving to her right, and puts it past Vote. You 
Kim goal was scored by number 13, Zoe Bennett. We're going to take a look at the scoreboard here. 2-0 New Canaan. And we mentioned uh, Mary Claire Snedeker in her first season as the Rams head coach, trying to uh, bring a sense of stability to the program. The fourth head coach in the last five seasons for the New Canaan field hockey program. And there's Coach Snedeker's profile, Colby College. And then coached at uh, Greenwich Academy here in southwestern Connecticut. Was an assistant at Williams College and was a head coach at uh, Western New England. Yeah, she was. Uh, at, at Colby, she was a three-time NESCAC Field Hockey All-Conference and team captain. But uh, New Canaan's just been really lucky to have her. She's been a fantastic addition. Uh, you know, she brings the energy, enthusiasm to the program. She's a great role model for the girls. She works them hard, but also encourages them to bond. They have their pre, you know, pre-game dinners um, and tailgates and just really encourages the spirit of the girls, but also has them work really hard during practices. So there is that stability that's coming, and the girls are just delighted to have her here. It's really good. Consistency is good for the, you yeah. know, for any program. It's yeah. been good. And she built on, uh, you know, the foundation that Kelly Mark started, you know, a few years yes. ago. Yes. Um, which is just was phenomenal. And you know, I think a lot of the girls are starting to play. Um, the youth in the youth program too. Well, well yeah, from our youth program, yeah. but also in the, you know, in the off seasons, a yes. lot of the girls are yes. playing year round, which is making a really big difference in the quality of play that we see at the high school levels. And you know, you certainly know that from your coaching and yes. you know the great work that you do with your club program. And there's a lot of club programs around that these girls can benefit from. Well, so there's a direct correlation between the strong youth programs in both of these towns yes, as to yeah. why the varsity programs have had so much success through the years. Yeah, and we talk about the off season as well. As long you know, a lot of club, you know, if you can get this stick in your hand quite quite often through through the entire year, it obviously does benefit. And a lot of uh, these players play together um, throughout the season, so it really does help. It sure um, does, and I think you know what's also nice is they start to see each other on the other teams, and they're watching, keeping, you know, keep in touch with each other and watching their games. And here comes New Canaan. Nice composure play by Darianne. They're gonna. Brinsley Rush with the takeaway there. Ball rolls out of bounds, down in the far right-hand corner on the near side of the field. Almost had that interception there by Darianne. It's a nice hustle. Good composure, Carolyn. Back to Emily. Back to Car Caroline Brooks. Sorry, Caroline. Caroline Brooks. Here's Molly McGuckin in over at attack, and here's Brinsley Rush. Good teamwork here. Brinsley is going to. Nice ball control right there. Stick skills. Good. She sees Charlotte Dominion, but ball goes out of bounds, unfortunately. Yeah. Right. Uh, so we have Sophie Havens here, I think, on the right side, taking that hit. It's Rainy Johns in the center of the field, sending a ball over, unfortunately not finding a teammate there. Um, Rachel Gilio with a reverse right up there to Carolyn Barron, Barron who sends it across, saved a good by the save. goalie, yep. off the end line. So seven minutes remaining in the first half, um, New Canaan up 2-0. Um, sending this ball out wide on the left side, trying to get circle entry, they hit a foot and should be coming out immediately, which is a great, nice, great self nice start. Speed. Yeah, hitting another foot, be, should be able to get a nice self start again. Under seven minutes remaining here. 2-0 New Canaan as the Rams jump out quickly here in the first half. All right, here we go. Passing the ball back, sending it across to the left side of the field. Nice passing. Good connecting passes right there by Darian. Oh, beautiful play right up into space. Darian's running onto it here. We got Caroline Brooks who's going to try to Smalley McGuckin defense. with some good speed. That. Yeah, there's a, yeah. That's corner, yep. So a penalty corner here for 
the blue wave. So second uh, penalty corner, attack penalty corner. Let's see if Darian can convert anything here. Um, so we'll see how they set up here. The key here is for our attackers who are waiting at the 50-yard line to rush back as quickly as possible to try to help out since they're down on defense. You can see how many blue wave are in that top of that circle. So Evelyn nice quick Heidi, answer. Inserter. Nice insert, yep. The reception not so oh, hot. Nice over to Reyna. And, and really Emily not. With the yeah. stick. Nice. And fortunately, the uh, the um, Emily Knight with a big ball right up to Molly Mitchell. Let's see if they can run onto it or if it's going to go off the end line. Good hustle though. Nice and clear it rolls, by Emily. A, rolls across the end line. It's a close opportunity for Darianne down there in the circle. New Canaan coming off a big win over Norwalk the last time out. Beat the Bears 5-1, to one. previously undefeated Norwalk. Head coach Kyle Seberg doing another great job this season with the Bears. And Darianne, last time out, beat Greenwich 1-0 on the road. Only the uh, second one-goal win of the season for Darianne. Kelly Parsons-Hills. Self-start. It's a great self-start. Up self -start. the right line. Oops. <laughs> Sends it across. Molly it's Mitchell. It's a great send right across. And, and another goal. It's a goal. great goal. And that is a goal. That was a great goal. For Mitchell. Beautiful run up the right-hand side. Insert right into Molly, who took a spin, took a shot. That's a nice connecting by McKinnon offense. Molly Mitchell with the goal. And we will take another look at that goal when we have a moment. Three nothing, New Canaan up. An impressive performance thus far for the Rams. Just starting to look like that 5 a.m. wake up. It's <laughs> not looking very good for Darian. <laughs> Although there's a few other things that are contributing, I think, here. <laughs> it's a great center pass. Let's see if they can attack down the center. It's a great little break up in the Good. center. Our next stoppage in play, we'll take a look at that Mitchell goal. All right, Caroline Brooks sending it across here to Estelle. Oh, taken by Darian Blair. Nice shot by... Yep. Um, by Captain um, Molly Hellman. Well done. Good. Back to Rachel Giulio. Sending it up the line. Good step up there. Okay. Sending it back in. Under right, four minutes some. remaining here. And New Canaan carry continuing to uh, apply the pressure here as Darianne looks to. Uh, Get this into their attacking half of the field. Almost at the three minute mark. All right. And here come the Rams. Okay. So a reset here for New Canaan. Rachel Gillio, another sophomore. We mentioned the underclassmen on this New Canaan team. Future certainly looks bright for Coach Snedeker's program. And a nice defensive effort that time by Darianne. Darianne bringing it down the right side here. Looking to connect. Beautiful leading pass right up there into space. Couldn't quite catch it on the end line, but right idea. Yeah, like it's gonna, always great to take it up the right side, send it across, and look for your player at the post. We're going to take a look at that uh, goal again from New Canaan, the Mitchell goal here. There it is. Shoots left side. It's a great, just a great placement of the ball. Really great placement of the ball. Took an extra second. That extra second always helps, and you 
get that shot right where you want it. Yeah, we always tell the girls to make sure you're aiming, not just shooting. So it was really good, good looking up, making sure you're placing it where the goalie isn't. Under two minutes remaining now in the first half. As this half has moved quickly here, there's Tala Garcia that goes back to New Canaan. All right, so just a, a minute 20 left in the first half. New Canaan leading three to zero. Um, a lot of back and forth play, but obviously New Canaan capitalizing on all their opportunities inside the circle, doing a fantastic job capitalizing on those goals. Just some really, uh, really good plays here. Nice job, Rena Johns, blanking it up in the center. Molly Hellman. With a takeaway. Yep. Looks like there's an even 3v3, but here's Captain Katie Duggan. See if she can save this ball. She does. Sends it inside here. Great job by Evelyn Heidi saving that ball. And, yeah. Yep, there's that play down the right side, sending it across. It's hard to defend against because your stick's on the other side. you got to get really low and get your feet around. So it looks like they're probably going to end this half with a corner. Darren with an attack penalty corner. See if they can convert something here. Katie Duggan, the inserter on this penalty corner for the wave. So Darianne in the black, moving from right to left. Try. And New Canaan in the home white. Trying something on the other side. So Katie Duggan going to insert. Um, looks like it's going to go probably up to Charlotte Dominers on the top. She receives. Yep, sends that ball nice. into absolutely nobody. Rachel Gillio with a nice flying there. And then I think Estelle picked it up. I'm not quite right, sure. Circle and send it out. Okay, Shauna Ferraro. Nice hit up the line to Molly Mitchell. Got through the defenders. Looks like that might be Marley Smith coming in on it. And, and that will do it half. for the first half here at Dunning Field on a uh, beautiful sun-splashed fall afternoon, a uh, Friday afternoon, as the Rams impressive in the first half as we take a look at the New Canaan huddle there. 3 nothing lead on Darianne, so the wave certainly has its work cut out for them in the second half. If we have a moment, let's take a look at the FCAC standings to date heading into this game. Both of these teams, as we mentioned at the outset, heavyweights in the conference, and there it is, the FCAC West. Norwalk atop the FCAC West, coming off that first loss of the season to New Canaan. They own a 10-1 and record. I saw Coach Seberg in the uh, stands this afternoon scouting this game. Darianne, of course, uh, is atop the East Division standings of the FCAC, followed by New Canaan. And of course, New Canaan upset last week by Ridgefield, three to one. Ridgefield having another terrific season at seven and one. And we are at the half of this game, varsity field hockey between Darian and New Canaan, Damian Andrew, Kari Johns, and Carrie Hills, and thanks so much for joining us on this collaborative broadcast between NCTV and DAF Media, our production crew for this, this afternoon's broadcast. Cortland Parrott is our director, doing a terrific job pushing the buttons. Lucci Savini up top on uh, one of our cameras, Austin Platt, Amelie Lanoff, and Ian Nicholas, and of course Thomas Kiernan and Michael DeMeglio round out the crew for this afternoon's game. We will take a break and we will be back with more live field hockey from Dunning Field. We are back here at this afternoon. NCTV and DAF Media, D New Canaan off to a uh, quite a start. Three goals in the first half as we are just about ready to get the second half underway. Damian Andrew alongside Kari Johns and Kerry Hills. Kerry Hills, of course, a former three-sport athlete, star athlete here at New Canaan High School. And now she is the president of the New Canaan Youth Field Hockey Program and doing a terrific job with that. And it's great to have Carrie on the broadcast with us this afternoon. So New Canaan in the home whites, they will be moving from right to left on your screen here in this second half. And Darianne in the black uniforms with the white numbers, and they will be moving from left to right. So the second 30 minutes, just about ready to get started here. 
I just want to give a shout out for our youth program. Thanks for everybody who's come here. We have some great posters for all the varsity players that were designed by our fifth, sixth graders. Um, our seventh and eighth graders came also, and they did a tunnel for the, the girls before the uh, announcements of the starting lineup. And it's just great to have such a connection between the youth program and the high school program. As we said earlier, we know Darian certainly has an extremely strong youth program. We also love going head-to-head -head against you guys in the youth program, and it's nice to see it carry forward into the into the high school years. Oh, girls gonna, get to know each other over time, for Yeah, sure. I was going to ask, is it senior, it's not senior day. They just did posters for no, all of the players. all of the players, because this is our youth. Come, they come here, we have, you know, it looks like a really good turnout, maybe, you know, 75 of our players here so coming to sweet. watch the varsity game. It's great exposure for them to see the play at the high level. They all have their jerseys on. It's yep. a good, it's a, they're watching a really good game, actually. Yep, yeah, they are. The Canaan's really showing up today, and so. Of, and, of course, uh, our production crew bringing you the sights and sounds of this game are all student volunteers, high school students from both New Canaan and Darianne, and they include our director, Cortland Parrott, Lucci Savini, Austin Platt, Amelie Lanoff, Ian Nicholas, Thomas Kiernan, and Michael DeMeglio, and we are underway here in the second half. So we're starting off the second half. Um, Darian uh, trailing 3-0. to New Canaan have an impressive start. Um, you know, we were just talking uh, during halftime. Um, it's it's both teams' homecoming weekend. Um, Darian, if you if you didn't hear, has this team has been up since uh, some of them since five in the morning. Some of them earlier. Um, they do their homecoming breakfast. I think you can if you've been watching the broadcast, you can tell by their. It's this is not the Darian team uh, that we're used to seeing. Um, have not been have not been uh, playing to their gen you know their their level new Canaan playing very well um, really impressive both teams um, it's just a really good style of play both of them moving the ball really well um, new Canaan capitalizing on their opportunities in front of the goal cage so doing a great job um, and some young scorers too which is really impressive what we like to see because you know that that coming up through the years that you're going to continue to see those goals coming in. Um, there's Tala Garcia in the back, trying to get this ball out. Uh, not, uh, New Canaan having an opportunity to bring their ball in their offensive end here again. Um, attacking down that right sideline, that ball lifted um, into a little bit of traffic. Uh, trying to break the ball up in the center of the field. It's a little good double team, but sending that ball back into space is a really smart decision. Um, yep, and moving the ball well there again. So I think what you're also seeing what New Canaan's do, doing much differently is um, their free hit, that free hit would have been taken already. Um, and, you know, with that little lapse in, in the time right there, it's just getting something generated. And I think that's where the goals have been scored as well. Um, good job by Molly Hellman to get this ball into the circle right away. Um, nice little lift up. Good defense by um, New Canaan. You can see them kind of closing down in the circle right there. So there's really nothing to, to be had. Um, Kari, if you're Darianne, head yeah. coach Mo Minikis, what do you think was said at halftime of this one? Her team down 3-0, a little flat in the first half. Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't know. I, I'm thinking, you know, Friday, we talked about this last week when they played Ludlow. Friday's always hard to get up for because you've had a full week, and it was a Friday night game, and we saw last week Friday they was really hard to get up for. I can't imagine getting, you know, four or less hours of sleep and having to play this game now. Um, so because of the homecoming, you know, the breakfast they had this morning. So I don't. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Um, not that that's an excuse, but I, I, I don't know. They've never been down 3-0 before. Um, so I would imagine just to, you know, that obviously doesn't look like I've been watching this team all year, as, as you have. <laughs> and it doesn't look like they're... they're their normal play. Um, and Carrie on the flip side, Coach Snedeker yeah. has to be just thrilled with her uh, offensive output in the first half. Uh, New Canaan ready to play here this afternoon. Big game against their arch rivals and uh, certainly outplayed Darianne in the first half. Yeah, I'm sure she's delighted with uh, the connections that were made and some of the goals that went in, but I think it ain't over till it o it's over. And Darianne certainly has a lot of... It's great uh, A lot of... Uh, intensity and you know the capacity certainly to get some quick goals here so I think they just got to make sure that they keep their game up and you know I think MC would be saying you got to play hard and make it happen right if you want to bring it bring it but you know still a lot of work to do we got 26 minutes left on this clock and a lot can happen in that time 
Again, Damian Andrew, Kari Johns, Kerry Hills joining you. Thanks so much for joining us here. Varsity field hockey between the FCAC rivals, Darian and New Canaan. Darian is definitely dominating right now. So I think, uh, you know, New Canaan might be sitting back a little bit thinking, you know, we're up three goals, but we got to, you know, got to pick it up if we're going to finish this. So um, Darian has a nice, nice effort in here. Nice interception right there. Took that ball out of the air, controlled it, pushing it right in. Ooh. <laughs> Darian fighting hard. Some good intensity. All right, looks like a, a Canaan Rams ball coming out here. Senior captain Emily Knight looking to pass left up to Kira, up to Rachel, and then she's going to look for nice Raina Johns with a with a steal there. Broke that up. All right, coming back out. Kira Cooney again. Let's see, New Canaan tends to keep pushing this ball up the left side. Let's see if we think about switching, but Darianne is right there, cutting off that pass, so leaving not much, but uh, coming up the left side here. It's good defense by Darianne. So I, I don't really know what, what Mo did say, but what needs to happen is they need to start playing their, you know, their normal style of play, which is, um, you know, moving the ball quickly, talking to each other, the forwards cutting back for the ball, everyone um, working together, which hasn't been happening necessarily. So it looks like they're starting to, to play a little bit like that. Um, uh, so, uh, you know, three goals is, is, is doable, uh, four goals to <laughs> potentially get a win, but I'm not sure. Um, so let's see what happens. New Canaan's just playing so well. They're connecting really well, still, playing really smart. Still on this left side of the field. we got to think about getting it over to the right side of the field, breaking it up. Seems to be a consistent pattern for New Canaan, just trying to drive up the left-hand side when... Yeah, you know, you know, as you know, we coach them and try to get them to get it off that side of the field. Just an easier yeah. push to get to the left side, but it's... It is, but it's uh, much harder to defend, too, yes, if they steal the absolutely. ball. absolutely. So. There's a big hole for New there we to go. send that ball in. Yeah, I mean, that, it just left that hole wide open in the center of the field. That was a good attempt, at least to get it towards the middle of the field. The last time these two teams met was in last year's... Class L state tournament in the first round. Darianne getting the better of the Rams that day. Certainly a different story this afternoon here at Dunning Field. Yeah, so if, if, if this, you know, if, if right now um, Darian 10 and 0, uh, New Canaan 9 and 1, um, having their only loss to Richfield last week, um, they had lost 3 to 1. Um, obviously, I'm assuming they didn't play like this on that day, I would assume. Um, we're connecting a little bit better here yeah, for sure. Yeah. Ridge, uh, they were strong. They came out, Ridgefield came out strong. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, this would. They got to the ball before we did, mm -hmm. I think, for Ridgefield. They were very aggressive mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, it's a little bit more of a physical game. I like that this is a clean hockey game, which is nice. And, and and as you know, when you do have that 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 loss, it, it teaches you a lot about mm -hmm. what what you need to improve on. So perhaps uh, you know, a little humbling. It's yeah. always good. Yeah. You know. So perhaps a good loss for for the team and, and seeing what you need to work on and what you. Yeah, you know. we came out strong against Norwalk, so I think we we did turn it around. You know, I think teams go one way or the other. They either take it as a loss and they get defeated, or else they say, "Wow, we got to step up and do this better." Demitner with a nice defensive stop there uh, yeah. for Darianne. Yeah. You know you. Both of you have played the sport at a very high level. Yeah. Uh, it is hard to run the table on a season. So sometimes, you're right, Kari, losses can be good losses. Yeah, a lot of times it's, it's really good. It's Katie Duggan with a great... Oh. That, was a, that was a great, great ball up to Katie Duggan. She had a great, great reception. Um... And it'll go back the other way as Good job Hellman by Molly Hellman picking in. that ball up. That was nice. Sending that ball forward yeah, to Katie yeah. Duggan. She sends that ball. It's off a defensive stick. And, and that's a goal, a goal for Darianne on Duggan's cross to Hellman. And Hellman has a goal as the Blue Wave cut in to this new Canaan lead. It's now 3-1 here with 21-39 remaining in the game. And that's the style that we're used to seeing from Darianne. So I'm not, if, if they can continue that play, um, 
That's what we're used to seeing. So that would be a more evenly. <laughs> we're going to take another look at that goal by uh, Molly Hellman. It's a good job by Randy Johns breaking that play up right there in the center. Uh, it's just got that under. It looks like it looks like goalkeeper Megan had just gone down maybe a little bit too early, maybe misread that play a little bit. Um, unusual for her. She usually reads that play really well. There's a good ball by Molly. She's supposed to be given five yards to receive that ball. Um, without being defended. And Sean Ferraro with the ball, taking it up the right side. Tal Garcia breaking that play up nicely. Some real energy in the stadium right now that uh, got Darian kind of back in the game here, I think, which is great. Yeah, great uh, crowd here at Dunning Field. You've got the Norwalk team here yep. watching the game. You've got the, almost the entire, if you could see the stands, you almost got the entire um, New Canaan youth with all their jerseys on um, supporting, which is really nice to see. Um, and again, as Carrie had described, um, that they've, d they've done these really nice posters for all of the team with all their numbers on them. So really good support here. Got some balloons in the sands, lots of fans for New Canaan. Um, the Darien JV team is here supporting, and then we've got a lot of fans because we're so close. We've got a lot of fans for um, Darien as well. So, and it's not a very, not so cold this evening. So a lot of people out here to support. Yeah, perfect hockey weather, that's for sure. 20 minutes remaining in the first half. Uh, now, near, um, New Canaan attacking. Now, you've got to carry that ball five meters. That ball was only pulled back about two yards, and that went right in. So it should. Looks like a New Canaan corner here. Yeah, so they're going to have an, a great opportunity here. Um, again, Darian only with four defenders in the goalkeeper, and New Canaan with um, probably at least eight um, looks like they have eight of their ten up on the circle, so a great opportunity for them to score. See what they're going to have a, a chance to do here. Um, inserting like is Shauna Ferraro. She's one of our freshmen. So they're setting up. They looks like they have a unit right at the top here with um, not sure is that Emily. Not quite blonde enough to be Emily. <laughs> no. uh, that's right up to Estelle. <laughs> oh, with a pass, nice yeah, reverse a little from reverse Anna pass. over to. Yeah, Estelle, and then back in. Up. Okay. Yep. Rolls across the end line, so this will come out. Under 20 minutes now left in the game. 3-1, New it's a great, Canaan. Great self-start. Ball sent up straight away uh, to Brinsley Rush, who's trying to find her teammate, but that's broken up straight away. Hit and um, again, broken up by Tala Garcia, who sends the ball to Brinsley Rush. And sh nice good job by Tala Garcia again. Uh, I imagine on that left side defensively, it might be a little hard with the sun over there. Um, and, oh no, I think Megan's out of the sun on this side, so fortunate for her. Looks like the umpire is giving a little bit of a warning over there for some physicality. I'm not sure with who, but it's a nice lifted ball. Just has to fall into space, um, which it does not. It's Right, back pass from Anna Lindice over to Caroline Brooks. He's going to send it back into the middle, but intercepted. Caroline really coming along, too. Remember when she just started? Really good athlete, lacrosse yeah. player. Um, Dad did some surgery on my hand, and oh, it's yeah? been my, okay. has, I call him my Dr. Oz. He's always been my, <laughs> my help. He's been help for my surgery for my knee just now. That should be a mm -hmm, attack penalty yeah, corner for nice Darian. Pull. Okay, Darianne with a good opportunity here. Again, four in the cage. Let's see what they do. So you'll see Darian has seven of their um, seven of their attacking ten players and New Canaan with four back. Captain Katie Duggan with the insert and she's trying on the other side. See Charlotte Demender here with the orange cleats at the top. She may receive, and she does. Nice she job, beautiful pass across. across. Okay. Raina John receiving, Raina John. sending that ball back in. And, yep, nice reception there, and see if we can get something. But nice, oh, yep, good clear out, and another corner just hits a new Canyon foot. Little, little bubbles here and there, not really. I don't think that's exactly what wanted to happen there in Darien, but sometimes broken corners, you know, as you know, you can maybe make something. Each one of it. these touches counts, though, right? I mean, got to get that ball the defense cleared out. The defensive unit on New Canaan is really speedy and has really been doing a good job. Uh, all four of them have been 
doing a great job. And and don't forget the goalkeeper. We've I've talked about always they're a player as well in there. So Megan doing a great job breaking this up as well. And turning up to Charlotte Demitner again. She looks. There's open. Hellman. Molly That's Hellman. Nice speed. Nice speed right Sends there. Sends that ball up. And Good looks save like by Megan. Up. She got her foot right on that one. Yeah, I thought it did hit a foot. Yeah, it did. So yet another penalty corner. Three in a row here for Darianne. So Down 3-1, as you can hear the fans in the stands. Captain Katie Duggan looking over to the bench, seeing what Coach Mo Minicus is looking for. And looking like they're inserting to this side again. Raina John shifting over to the reception. There's Hellman oh, lets nice it fake go to there. That's Darcy. a beautiful play. That's a nice that corner. That hits another foot. Um, hmm. So that ball just needs to be. And Carey, obviously, how big is that for the New Canaan defense? Uh, three straight penalty corners from Darianne and a solid job by the Rams defense. Emily Knight did a great job getting that ball out nice and quick. Yeah, she did. Yep. Darian moving the ball much better here. Ran in the center of the field. Three players nice. swarmed around her. Um, nice job by Brinsley Rush. But we want nice yeah. Emily to break that up. Yeah. Comes rushing through there with the speed. That's what you need, that anticipation of where the ball is going to be and get there quickly. She's so quick. I'm, I'm. What was that? I, I missed it. Oh, she's just. Uh, oh. <laughs> so Molly McGuckin on Darian getting a green card for something I did um, we're not quite sure um, and so Darian's gonna play down a player for two minutes um, which is gonna be crucial a um, player advantage here for New Canaan <laughs> midway through the second half good job by Tyler Garcia to break that play up spin great spin out and good job Send that ball nice and low to Captain Katie Duggan. Oh, nice. Sends that, that ball in. a good in. try. Send that across. So just under 15 minutes remaining in the first half. Um, Darian, I think, pretty much dominating the second half. Mm. It's a little For bit. For sure. New Canaan's definitely back on their heels a bit. We have everybody back in the circle. Um, Playing a more defensive game than an attacking game right now, which is showing. But sometimes we got to step up and... Make sure we keep the pressure on to keep the ball out of the out of our defensive end. Ball coming wide to Lindsay Olsen, who's going to send this ball around. Let's see, Kira's going to step up. Good job, Irene oh, Johns. Nice. Sends that ball over to uh, penalty corner. Another penalty corner. Let's see if they try to take this ball on the other side now. So Darianne's fourth penalty corner in the last five minutes. See the parents making some noise. If you can hear that through the microphone. And Duggan again will be the inserter here. It's critical that these attackers get back as quickly as possible, too. So you'll see if you can, uh, they, they're zeroed in on Katie Duggan, but you'll see the uh, New Canaan attackers back on the 50 yard line. It's a great insert by Captain Katie Duggan. That ball goes through, sending over to Raina Johns. Second. Nice sweep in that comes off of New Canaan. It's a great save by Megan. And then, oh, just wide. Just wide of the near post. It's a player on the post right there. Those As are the mistakes that we talk about a bit if somebody had been there. And New Canaan had a few on the early opening. And a terrific save by Megan Leiden. Is that Emily Knight? Was. Oh. Off a of Darian stick. But it's Shauna Ferraro. Shauna has beautiful stick skills. It's Raina Johns. Good job. That's off a, yeah, uh, it's off a white stick. It was unlucky right there. But yeah, she had been paying attention. Maybe she'll maybe let that ball go out. Let's see where this goes. If we go up the left or if we try to swing it. Okay. It's off a right, right through. That's uh, a great touch. Nice touch, Karen yeah. Barron. Yeah. She's speedy. Yeah, if you just, sometimes you just go. make nice, that's a great, great stick by Molly McGuckin. So you just make that touch on the stick and just change oh. direction of the ball. Teddy. Good hustle, almost. White ball going out. So. We're oh, take a look at that last save by Leiden of New Canaan.
as you see her really communicative there <laughs> and good movement. Right there it is. Yeah. Nice job. Such an active goalkeeper. So th these aerial balls, I'm not quite sure what's going on. Once it comes down, you're supposed to have some time to play this ball. So let's go, Shana. Um, nice yeah, nice right movement up there to Carolyn there. Barron. Keep it in. Yeah, really nice. good movement. Nice. And you got Molly Mitchell up ahead. And you got Zoe Bennett right at the post, which is good. Let's see if we can get it there. Great job. Great job by Charlotte okay. Demitner to yep, not only defense. stop the ball, but create an um, obstruction yep. call, but then you know, taking that hit a little quickly and just miss hitting it. Probably should have taken a little bit more time there. A little reverse right, hit that's there. That's good. Right to Molly Mitchell. And we got, you know, I'm impressed. McKinnon set up pretty well. We got someone right at the post ready for that play to come across. Good. That, yep. That's a great job. Restart. Quick restart yeah, there. Oh, nice. By Molly. Yep. Okay. Good quick passing. Right give and goes. Oh, intercepted. Estelle. Beautiful interception. She's Great looking up there Estelle. for Carolyn Barron. Molly, Molly's she there. Molly. She sends it across. Yep, she has Molly centered. And then centered. she got Zoe up top too. So New Canaan is well positioned. Molly's got gr such a great stick. Yeah, she does. Yep. And good positioning. Uh, she's a clean player. Good job by uh, Charlotte to get that ball out. And nice job by Raina Johnson. So who's this there? Up. Yep. Okay. Darianne's on the go here. Darianne going the other way. Yeah, that's a great job. Yeah, ball should be coming out, and here is Molly. Nice quick start. There coming. it is. See, those make a big difference, Curry, as you were saying. Yeah, those were the. There it is. So where's Captain your post? Katie Duggan sending okay. that ball up, but just not enough on it, and that should be a. Generally, when the ball's hit out of bounds on purpose like that, it's a penalty corner. Um, but umpire signaling for a 25-yard hit, so that's coming right out of the 25-yard line. She's going to see Raina Johns right in the center field, who, yep, just sends that ball off a defensive stick, chopped down nice. really nicely. A skill right by Ashana. Yep. A little touch. Here we go. Stay with it. Good stick work there. Yep, nice. Nice composure. That was good. Good play. Did some pulls. There's a little frustration you can see. <laughs> Goggles come off and on. Nice job by Kenzie. Uh, just as Kenzie O'Shea just sub in there and just nice composure there. Good little stick work. Um, so Momenik is making a few subs in here. Um, All right, center of the field looks like it's open there. Let's see where we go. Let's bring it to the right. Nice, good luck. Let's get that through. Charlie. Oh, nice. Darian stepped up. A good ball Stop that play before it could happen. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's see if we get a quick start here. If we good S down the right, decision. down the right, and send it. Nice. That's good. Nice one touch. Let's see. Oh, good try. Nice yeah. reverse. That That's was a, a good try. pull. Yeah. Just wide of the cage. The goalie was there. Carolyn Barron. Good idea. Just wide of the cage. Wide of the near post. Charlotte Demitner with a nice sweep. Oh, nice the, uh, interception right there. That was a great oh. interception. Yeah, but Taller Garcia's got to okay. try to come to that ball. Unfortunately, Sophie Havens with a good effort there. Didn't yeah. work out, but. I think she tripped over her own yeah. stick, unfortunately. It's a great There's interception, though. Way to be there. Oh, nice touch, Emily. Okay, over to Kira, getting it wide. Rachel can't get there in time, but looks like we're still well positioned. It's Molly Hellman looking for Rena Johns, who sends a nice ball into the circle. Nobody Emily Knight there. again. They're coming out of the middle of nowhere. She's so speedy. Always right there. <laughs> yeah, she's so speedy. Yeah, she sure is. So it looks like Molly McGuckin has rejoined the game now. Okay. So I think Darian probably up to full roster here. Oh, nice try to save for Ken uh, Kenzie O'Shea. Looks like somebody on uh, New Canaan must have touched that ball. Umpire okay. signaling for Darian Seiden. So time now. Not just New Canaan becoming a factor for Darianne. Under eight minutes remaining in the game, 3-1 Rams. Three first-half goals for New Canaan. Darianne added one in the second half on a Molly Hellman Great goal. defense again, yeah. yeah. So although Darian, I, I think, definitely dominating ball possession in the second half with no question, but it, it's, you know, unless they're able to convert anything to goals, it just... You know, I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Um, just the New Canaan playing so strong first half, and Darian, that you know, a little sleepy the first half. I don't, it, unless they can convert. Ooh, that should. Uh, uh. Oh, nice Estelle. That was a good, good way to bring that ball down and out. Good, Marley Smith breaking that up. 
Nice little touch by Cattell Garcia. That's a well-timed pass. There's Bogdan. Nice wide pass out there to the left. She can send oh, it right across. That was beautiful by Darian. Oh, oh, was that, that a post? <laughs> oh, man. Was it a post? That was a goal. It was a no. It hit the post. <laughs> that darn <Okay>. goal post. <laughs> we, it's a, we love it sometimes when it saves the goals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So another penalty corner here for Darianne. That was just a gorgeous ball down yeah, the left side. Yeah, that was a great, that was a great nice cross. Nice center cross. It was nice and flat. That's exactly what you're looking for. No bounces, no lifts. You should be able to tip those right in. Good insert. Good sweep Good. across. All right, with a Good nice sweep. sweep in. Nice save by Megan. John's yep, the and, shot, Leiden the save. Yep, and just their New Haven is just so good. They're closing in really nicely and able just to, you see all, it seems like they're just swarming all over that ball, and they're just getting this ball nice and quick. So really good job defensively on the corners, penalty corners. You know what's nice? Both of these teams are very strong all around. Yeah. You know, it's not, it's been know, there's a good few, matchup. a few very strong individual players, but I think it's more... You know, the, the really massive team efforts here. Yeah, no, I think All it's these players play so well together. You can see that there's some really good connections and there's the trust that, you know, send the ball up and someone will be there. You yeah, know, I nice. think it's been a overall player for player. It's a great matchup. We, yep. it's, it hasn't been, um, as you said, it's not, it's not, there's just been a great matchup. It's all been um, evenly matched. Um, I don't think, Again, although the goal, yeah, that was she did dribble right into her, so that would be a foul. Um, the, if you lift the ball, you can't dribble into the player. So I, I actually think that was a good call. Um, if I, I don't, I think you know, as I said earlier, it's going to come down to who makes the mistakes. And unfortunately, defensively, Darian made quite a few mistakes and allowed those goals. But I don't think um, I think either team, you know, this both teams have been playing again second half. It? Darian definitely dominating and playing more aggressively, um, absolutely taking control of the second half, but um, not converting into goals. Um, New Canaan doing an absolutely better job there. Um, and that's where we've talked about this, Damian, how, uh, you know, it, the score doesn't always reflect what game it was. It's just a matter of sometimes, um, oops, that's nice. a great one touch. Nice one touch. <laughs> and a great job by Rihanna Johns breaking that play up. Um, it, it's it's been a really well played match. It's what we expected, you know, from these two teams. Um, so both teams playing really well, and it's been a it so far has been a great matchup. Four minutes still remaining in the second half. Um, me, of course, wishing it didn't come off of a, a you know Friday uh, morning when these girls have <laughs> only had a few hours of sleep. I wish we could have been more physically prepared, but um, hopefully we'll meet again postseason. That's what I'm hoping for. Because I think these two teams are so well matched together. It's been a great game to watch. Um, great job by Charlotte Demitner. Great ball in. Great stop. Who, who was that? You know, I think uh, it might have been Estelle. I, I didn't. I didn't see yes, that one. Yes, nice and low. I'm, I'm noticing some space. You know, New Canaan's giving Darian the space to take those those big shots, not stepping up as much as they did in the first half. I think so. Maybe playing a little bit more defensively. Yeah, I think you can you can afford to. You guys now, are capitalizing though. on it though. No, I think you're getting off more shots that way, which is which is good. Good for you guys. But I think with a two two goal lead, you can afford to give a little bit more space, especially with the timing. You know, you can afford to, to give just a teeny bit more space. So twenty five yard hit coming in. This ball's got to travel five meters. Um, clearly marked in the field, so um, she's got to make sure she carries this ball five meters or pass to a teammate before it has circle entry. Um, I think that's Sarah Bogdan or possibly Brinsley Rush that hit a white foot first, I think, um, and then it absolutely hit a Darian foot. Ball coming out is that a no, that's, that's like Caroline, Caroline Brooks. Brooks yeah. yeah. Let's see what she does. You can tell here. by the hair. Yeah. <laughs> Great oh, job. Nice. Yeah. That ball's going to be good. coming in. Yep. See, you guys are stepping up in that one extra second. Mm -hmm. Makes a difference. We're just a little flat. Ball All right, here we go. Back to Charlotte. Good job. Good, good try read. by Anna Lindeis to break that up. That was good effort. There, Polly Parsons Hills. Nice reverse hit out. Here's see where it goes. All right, so an attack penalty corner for Darian. Approaching the two-minute mark here in the second half. 3-1 New Canaan. It's gotten a little chillier since we first uh, yeah, that sun went teed down. off. 
this <laughs> afternoon. You know I'm happy I'm in here, right? And not up there. <laughs> you know me, Damien. <laughs> All right, Adarian with the attack final corner. Raina John just receiving at the top, sending that ball in. And nice save by Megan. Here's Molly Hellman at the top. Raina John's receiving it again, trying to get another shot off and another attack penalty corner. Just under two minutes. Boy, I tell you, Coach Snedeker has to be pleased with the way Leiden has played, though. She has stepped up in some big spots Absolutely. for New Canaan, has played brilliantly in cage. Yeah, Darian wants to take this quickly. That insert a little slow, sending that ball over to Katie Duggan. Yeah, this should be another penalty corner, uh, but giving the opportunity. Yeah, there's another goal. That's a goal Great for Sarah Korea. Bondin. Right oh, place, nice. right time for Bondin. 125 left, and all of a sudden, it is a one-goal game. You wonder, though, if it's too little too late for Darianne, but Bondin right there on the right side of the cage and was able to put in the deflection. So you'll see the umpire, they'll hold the signal for the penalty corner and give the opposition the, uh, or the, uh, the, uh, sorry, the, <laughs> the. So a timeout on the field as Coach Snedeker uh, calls a timeout. Let's see if we can uh, see yeah. that last goal. Sarah Bogdan, you'll see her on the right side of your screen. There you go. So you'll see the umpire hold the whistle here. He's holding the advantage to see for the opportunity for a goal. And there Sarah Bogdan just gets a stick on it and sends. Um, if they don't get a shot at it, it'll be another penalty corner, but they hold. Now there's just a little over a minute. So Darian's going to really try to push here. But again, very Four. little time. I would imagine that New Canaan would put all pressure on and do everything they can, obviously, to stop. Uh, no balls K going in. Carrie, if you had to uh, think what's going on in that new Caden huddle, what is Coach uh, Snedeker uh, probably stressing the most right here? You know, I think um, you know, she's so good at motivating the girls. They always come out fired up and, and pumped up. So, you know, I just imagine she's saying, try to earn this win. You know, it's gonna, you need to earn these wins. And uh, as much pressure as you can, get to the ball first, stick down, and uh, give it all you got with full hustle. I'm assuming they're going to come out ready to play hard here. So, but, uh, uh, you know, kudos to Darianne. I mean, bringing it this close after uh, a three, you know, being down by so many goals that you, you, you always bring a fun game here to us at, at Dunning Stadium. So, A little bit of a tale of two halves here in terms of the scoring column. New Canaan jumps out to a 3 nothing lead at the half, and uh, Darianne now with 125 and ticking. Uh, down just a goal. Start with possession, and they want to try to maintain possession, obviously. Um, which it's, uh, I would imagine this ball is going to be passed back, and they're going to try to maintain possession again. <clears throat> we are under a minute to go oh, now. Oh, nice, fast, quick, quick, yep. quick self start right there. That's some good stuff. Here goes Lindsay Olsen. Nice defense. Yep, good job. Good. Stay in the stalemate. Yeah, <laughs> that <laughs> works Olsen, for good us. Job breaking it. Exactly. <laughs> that was good. Nice <laughs> More time you can Darian. waste. Oh, okay. <laughs> Takes time right, off the clock. 33 seconds. Yeah, see Lindsay Olsen signaling See? it hit her in the lead. She wants to. It was interesting. New Canaan takes that one so quickly. Yeah. Usually you try to settle down a little bit. Yeah. Exactly. When you have the ball and you don't need to rush too quickly and you have your own foul. No it's delay of game, but in. certainly you don't need to rush into it. Charlotte DeMittner trying to get this ball down infield. They were trying to get circle entry. You can get circle entry. Nice get ball a, control right there by Darian. <clears throat> uh, Charlotte, Charlotte DeMittner probably just holding that ball way too long. Here's Raina Johns trying Raina to get Jones, circle entry. Get that start, ball inside. Two seconds left. And Good. Yeah, and time's out. That's a great win. That's a, a, always a great game. And that will do it for this one, and uh, a one-goal game. You knew these two teams would bring it, and uh, certainly things got interesting in the uh, second half. We're going to take a look at the scoring this afternoon as uh, New Canaan holds on to a 3-2 win. That's his first one. And here's See? the first goal. It's danger. As Polly Parsons-Hill scores the freshman. Beautiful. And a Gorgeous. beautiful play right there Gorgeous. for... Zoe Bennett. 
And here's the third goal Gorgeous. of the Gorgeous. first half yeah. for New Canaan as it was uh, Molly Mitchell, number 23. And then Darianne, Darianne. comes to life Beautiful. in the second half as Molly Hellman scores on the pass from Katie Duggan. And then with about a minute 25 remaining in the game, Sarah Bognid, right place, right time, number 12. You see her right at the uh, near post there. And Reverse. she scores, and that'll do it 3-2. Well, Kari and Carrie, want to thank you. What a thank great you. job this afternoon. Uh, Carrie's uh, maiden voyage for yes, NCTV <laughs> and DAF Media did a tremendous job. Of course, uh, Carrie, Mill, or, uh, Carrie Hills, a uh, three-sport standout here at uh, New Canaan High School and is now the uh, president of the New Canaan Youth Field Hockey Program and doing a terrific job with that. I want to give a shout out to our entire DAF Media Production crew, our director, Cortland Parrott, Lucci Sav Savini, Austin Platt, Amelie Lenoff, Ian Nicholas, up top, Thomas Kiernan, and Michael DeMeglio. Just a terrific job bringing you all the sights and sound. We want to thank everybody for a job well done. Also, the advisor for NCTV, Roman Sobolski. Roman, if you're still listening, thanks for all that you do to make NCTV run smoothly. want to also thank the athletic department here at New Canaan High School, especially Jay Egan, athletic director for uh, all that he does for New Canaan Athletics. So for Kari Johns and Carrie Hills, I am Damian Andrew for our entire production crew. New Canaan beats Darianne three two in a great field hockey match here at Dunning Field. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, everybody. Take care.